You've heard a lot about radon, but do you really know what it's all about? Hi, I'm Jan Eeks, and there are a few facts that every homeowner, construction professional, and tradesperson needs to know about radon. Fact. Naturally occurring radioactive radon gas is the second most important cause of lung cancer in Canada after smoking. Radon gas percolates up through the soil. This happens throughout Canada. High levels of radon can concentrate in the living space of some homes. About 7% of all Canadian homes exhibit radon levels above the Canadian radon guideline of 200 becquerels per cubic meter. The problem is, we don't know which lot is a radon problem until a home is built and the house is tested for radon concentrations. That is why Health Canada recommends that every homeowner in the country conduct a long-term radon test to see if work needs to be done to reduce radon levels, and that every new home be built with some minimum radon control and built ready to deal with radon if it is eventually found to still be a problem. So just what is radon? Uranium is found all over the world, and as it decomposes, it gives off radium, which in turn produces radon gas, which gives off strong radioactive alpha emissions. Because radon is odorless, tasteless, and colorless, the only way to know how much radon is present in a home is to test for it. But we can get an idea just how radioactive it is by looking at this cloud chamber. What you see here is not radon itself, because it's invisible to the human eye, but the trace it leaves in the gas in this special chamber, much like the trace an airplane leaves under certain humidity conditions in the sky. Radon soil gas moves very slowly as it drifts upward, but within that gas, the tiny radon particles are radioactive. Radon exposure has been tagged by the health authorities around the world as today's number one environmental cause of lung cancer and the number two cause of lung cancer after tobacco. You don't want this going on inside your lungs. First, let's look at how radon travels and how does it get into our homes. Radon produced in the ground will eventually find its way to the surface. The amount of radon coming out of the ground in any given house lot depends on the radon concentrations below the house, the types of rock formations and cracks in the rocks, as well as what type of soil is present. In an open field, it is diluted quickly, simply blown away. Then we build houses on this land, on slabs, over crawl spaces, with basements, lands that have varying flows of radon coming out of the ground. Traditionally, those houses were very drafty, with the wind continuing to blow the radon away. With energy prices rising, we started to build energy-efficient houses with air barriers in walls and ceilings, sealing up our old houses to save heating and air conditioning costs and make our homes more comfortable. But we didn't pay much attention to air pressures in the house or creating gas barriers between the house and the soil. It turns out, the how the house is operated by its occupants is another variable as to how much radon may be found in any given house. From thousands of measurements made coast to coast, it is estimated that 7% of all houses in Canada have radon concentrations that are high enough that Health Canada calls for action. Certain geological areas have more radon than other areas, but all areas have some radon in houses, and no region is immune to problems. Given the complicated path that radon gas takes from deep in the ground, one house may have a problem and the neighbors none. Every house needs to be tested. We can't stop radon from rising up from the rocks and the soil under us, so how do we keep it out of our houses? In theory, that's pretty simple. Install a pipe below the slab which can draw away the radon coming out of the soil under the house. Bury the pipe in gravel. Install a gas-proof membrane, sealed at all penetrations, much like the air barrier on the walls. Extend the vent pipe through the roof, venting soil gases passively to outdoor air where it is rapidly blown away, 
as it was before the house was built. If the indoor measured levels are still too high despite these other efforts, a radon-approved exhaust fan that will actively draw the radon out from under the house must be added to the system. The good news is that techniques exist to solve any radon problem and make every home safe and healthy. The challenge is how to do that economically for all houses given the wide variety of radon levels. It is not simple nor is it inexpensive to create a membrane that stops 100% of soil gases from getting into the house. Making it possible to vent radon out from under the house requires some preparation during construction. And in cold Canada, the draw pipe needs to be located inside the house where the pipe stays warm. Adding radon-approved exhaust fans almost always works but the efficiency and operating cost of the fan can vary greatly, depending on how well the radon control measures were built into the house. And to top off the complications, it is not possible to predict which houses will need how much protection until after they are built, occupied, and tested for at least three months, because radon activity varies with seasons and over time. The science and technology of radon control is evolving around the globe. Building codes vary and are changing with time as to how they address the problem for 7% of Canadian housing without adding significant construction costs for every home. Some jurisdictions require full roof-exhausted passive vents in every new house, while others require nothing except in certain specifically designated regions. The Canadian National Building Code is suggesting building every house as readily remediated new construction, and then implementing further control systems if proven necessary after long-term, three-month post-occupancy radon testing is completed. That provides some inexpensive, although imperfect, passive radon reduction that will solve many problems. Studies in the UK show 50% reduction in radon with simply a well-sealed intact soil gas membrane. Most importantly, this preparation work provides the means for easily adding more radon reduction with a full passive stack or a depressurization fan after initial construction if testing shows it is needed. Eliminating radon in existing houses is more difficult and more expensive when things are not already in place for radon control. Building all new houses with these minimum radon-resistant new construction techniques is a fairly inexpensive but effective step toward removing the number one environmental cause of lung cancer from inside our homes. I hope this has helped you, the homeowner, understand what radon control is all about.